Sharing isn't always easy. Imagine if some of the world's biggest problems, like the Middle East peace process, Donald Trump's divorces, or something as simple as sharing a cake could be solved using a computer algorithm. Cake cutting is an abstract and mathematical model for fair division. Cake is simply a metaphor for any kind of divisible resource, be it time, land, or computing resources. Say we want to allocate a cake so that no one envies another person's portion. Solving this problem for two people is simple and is at least as old as the Bible. It's called divide and choose. One person divides the cake into two equally preferred pieces. The second person chooses their preferred piece. The cutter takes the remaining piece. The chooser is happy because they got the first choice and the cutter is satisfied with either piece. But add more people and it gets much, much trickier. In the 1960s, two mathematicians, John Selfridge and John Conway, independently developed an envy solution for dividing a cake among three people. In this solution, person one cuts the cake into three equal pieces, person two trims their preferred piece to match their next preferred piece, the trimming is set aside. After that, person three picks their favorite piece, then person two picks, and then person one takes the remaining piece. Assuming person two chose the trim piece, person three cuts the trimming into three equal pieces, then person two picks their preferred piece of trim, followed by person one, and finally person three gets what's left over. By this method, all three people have an envy-free allocation of the cake. But for decades, no one has found a bounded method for more than three people. Previously, all algorithms for four or more people were unbounded, which means that they could take an arbitrarily large number of cuts. But we have got a solution, an algorithm that requires a bounded or limited number of steps for any number of people. In this procedure, we use the idea of swapping parts of the cake to make sure everyone feels they haven't missed out. This becomes increasingly complex as the number of people increases. We hope that our new algorithm opens the door for simpler and faster methods of allocation. One day, problems such as allocating access to a telescope among astronomers, or even the fair distribution of scarce water resources could be made very easy.